Julia. I recently have been doing quite a few projects using my twisted fabric cord. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you've probably, you've probably have seen some. I use them for belt loops, I use them for um, button loops, I use them for just many, many different things for uh, trimming different items. Um, but today I want, I've just got a lot of it. Um, I wanted to say I do this when I'm sitting watching TV, I'm riding in the car, it's just an easy thing to do and you don't really have to look at it to do it. Um, so I do have a, quite a bit of it and I'm going to be making some coasters with it and I thought I would film it. Um, I've not done this before but I kind of have an idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, but first of all I wanted to just share again how I do this instead of sending you to a different video. I've done it in another video but I'm just going to take the time here and just show you again how I make this. You do have to start with strips. My strips are usually Oh, a three fourths of an inch to about an inch and a quarter wide. And I usually just rip my strips. So these are just scraps that I've had. Um, you don't want to go more than like a 24 inch length because it just gets tangled. Um, and you do you start with two, and you do want to start making sure that they're at different at different lengths. So when you join the next one, they don't join at the same place, basically. To do this, now I just I just start and I twist the end, and then I like to put uh, just a clip on that end after I've twisted it. This is just a wonder clip that I'm using. Now I'm left-handed, and so I hold it in my right hand and I do the twisting with my left hand. If you're right-handed, you're going to want to probably re reverse that. So I hope that doesn't mess you up at all, but um, just kind of switch it over in your brain. I've had to switch everything over in my brain because my mom was right-handed and she taught me how to knit and all that good stuff, and I just kind of watched her from uh, across from her, and that's how I learned a lot of different things. But you have one piece on the top and one piece on the bottom and the piece on the top you twist twice and then bring it over and hold it with your thumb so you then the then the back the top one or the back one you twist twice bring it forward and hold it with your thumb and you just keep going like that um, until you run out of one and then I'll show you how to join it I also too want to mention that this is very repetitive movement in your hands and so don't do it for very long because you're gonna you're gonna just hurt your hands by doing that I usually just do it for I don't know 20 minutes or so and then take a break and then maybe I'll do it do it a little bit longer um, but you do want to take breaks when you're doing this I'm just gonna keep going here now until I have to join and I'm gonna show you how I do that but you can see it gets quite even and just it's just it's just a fun way of using up some of those scraps. I have about an inch and a half left here. This one's almost out. When you have about that inch and a half left, you want to just grab another piece and I I just twist that together. And then I go ahead and just continue on, just really easy. I don't use any glue. Um, this holds quite well with just twisting it like this. Um, but I do usually sew, I'll now show that to you, and I'm, before I make my coasters, I will be stitching this with a zigzag right down, right down the center of it. So I've got my piece here, and I'm just going to continue um, and then join when I need to. I've cut four strips. I'm going to make four coasters, and each one is approximately 48 inches long. I'm going to be taking this to my sewing machine and I am going to be just stitching right down the center of this. I wanted to point out I have purple thread on my bobbin and I have like an orange thread on top. This is a great place to even just to use up extra bobbins that you have. And I'm just doing a zigzag down the center of this. My zigzag set at about a five. Um, and then it's on to creating this coaster. Notice how I twisted that end there and I'm just doing a straight stitch here and I'm going to be going back and forth a few times on this end. I just sort of formed it into a circle at this point um, and it will be, it'll form into a circle in the next step. I do have to flip it over for this one. So the circle is forming on the, on the left and my left hand is going to be turning that and the right hand will be guiding the cord. 
just takes a little bit of figure fiddling here. I do have it set in the zigzag again at about a, a, the width of five. And I'm doing a zig in one and a zag in the other. So it's, it's zigging in the actual um, coaster itself and then the cord gets another one. So right down the center here, I'm, I'm forming this just to keep it together. And again, it takes a little bit right at the beginning here, but then it goes really quickly and it's just really easy to do. Again, I'm just guiding it and, and turning it with my left and then guiding the cord with my right. I did a video, I think it was two Christmases ago, on how I do the um, form bowls out of a cotton cord. And I'll link that down below for you if you're interested. The same, pretty much the same technique I used in that as I'm doing here. And I'm just going around and around here. I'm almost done. Um, and when I get to the end, I will be just doing a little back stitch there just to kind of tie that or lock that into place. And now it's to finish off that edge there, that ending. I thought maybe this um, measuring tape trim or possibly a yo-yo, which was just too big. I didn't have any little yo-yos. But I decided on this cork. And this is fabric cork, so it has that knit back backing. And I'm just going to... It doesn't fray, so it's just a wonderful thing to use for this. I'm just going to stitch this right across. I'll link that down below for you if anybody's interested in that in that cork. And this is what it looks like. It makes about a four inch. This forty eight inches made about a four inch coaster or mug rug. They look like little rugs. Super easy project, everyone. I hope you give it a try. I think they'd make wonderful gifts and a great way to use up extra bobbins and um, your strips of fabric. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.